Welcome to I Love Stocks. Today's date is August the 11th, Sunday's edition of 2019. First thing we're going to talk about is going to be apps. Also remember to subscribe and ring that bell. We also on here have the Twitter page if you'd like to follow us on Twitter. And we also have another page on here. It's called our Stock Twits page. Vegas is right, mine's right there. Hit that follow button. And also we have Vegas is on here and hers is right here. And hit that follow button on hers. And she posts daily alerts every day on Stock Twits. Hit that follow button and them alerts will come on on a daily basis. She's a great options trader and I'm learning options and scalping and a swing trader. So let's start off with apps. APPS. APPS we've been calling out for a while now. Here's the year's chart on it. We've had a bottom run from 112 all the way up to 633. We called this out last week and it's run up and created a new high last Friday. So let's pull this up to a 20 day and get a good look at the 20 day chart. We have a low low support down here right between the 570 area and 575. That's going to be your low support. And I'm going to go ahead and draw that trend line in there. And I'm going to darken this in with some blue so I know that this is going to be a solid place if it decides to pull back to go ahead and get in this trade. Frick, there we go. And I would say we did break out of a high on Friday. It did bust out after hours to 647. So we've got a lower support down here, probably around a pivot point in this channel, right around the 612 area for a solid maybe get in price. And if that doesn't hold, it can come down here to 591 and maybe a low of this 6570 area. And if it hits that, it's going to be a solid buy. Anything below that is going to be a real strong buy at 546. That's a whole dollar down from there. We've got a break of resistance of 647, and that's apps. Remember that solid support's right around 612. That should be your first entry if it pulls back. If not, you've got these other little entries to take it in right here with a solid low support of 570 to 575. And the next one we're going to talk about is going to be Shack, S-H-A-K. Shaq's had a great breakout here in the past four days. As you can see, we got a target on this stock up here. It's right now, it hit a high of, of $90. It's got a 90.55 resistance. So I'm putting a 90.19. Let me change this back here to this pattern here. And I'm gonna call support probably right in there, right around $90. Or now it's gonna be a resistance. Then we got a lower support in this little channel right here at 87.39 with maybe a low bottom support right here at 85.22. Looks like it's had a real nice breakout though. And let's look at the yearly chart. Take a good look at it. We did hit a yearly high Friday. It has a very nice run all the way down here from 76.11 all the way up to 90. I'd say around 90.55. So I expect this thing to pull back a little bit. Low support right around the 80.37 area. That's got to hold. If not, let's take this up to a five day and see if we can find some other supports. Hmm, hard to say. We'll call one right there just in case. And then I see another one right in here at 80.41. 80, so that's it. Low support right now, we're going to call it there at that 88, 83.37 with a resistance to break, and that's going to be that 90.40. If it can break that 90.40, we're going to create new highs. I expect it to pull back, create a new channel. That channel it should be right around 83.37 is going to be your little pivot point, which we're going to call that support right now, and that's going to be S-H-A-K. Next one we're going to talk about is going to be one that we've been calling out for over a year. It's just been a very bullish run to us. We called this out at $9 a couple years back. Let's pull up the three-year chart for right now and take a look at it. Right around in this area right in here is where we called it out. She ran up and made a real good high up to $30, and then it kind of pulled back. 
created a support level at 1637 and then here in 2018 it's had nothing but a green green run and this chart that I'm using right now is called a TTM squeeze chart along with my 200 and I've used my 34 and I use my 9 EMA Friday we did touch back down to that though well, this is a weekly chart so we did touch down to that 34 and it bounced off that 34 created a new high Friday at 35.50 at 5, which we needed to see break. We needed to see it break that 34. That was my strong, solid resistance for a few months. Couldn't do it, but now with Friday's momentum, it sure did, and I really, <laughs> that was a pretty move. So let's pull this up to the one year. No, that ain't the one year. There we go. We did have that low support down here at 1603 and ever since then she's ran up probably from the the end of last year all the way up to a new high today of 35 30 55. so i'm going to call a new support on this it has been down here under the 29 29 29 60 area i'm going to call a new support right around the 30 30 area that should be where it pulls back to no lower than that. If it does, it's going to be a strong buy. I'm very bullish on AMD, by the way. Very bullish. So let's pull this up to a 20-day, and you'll get a better look at what I'm calling it supports. I say the low support on this, if we can start to move up and create a new channel, it's going to be that 30-30 area. And that's going to be your low support. Your pivot point in that channel is going to be right around 32-39. And your first support is going to be right here, right at... 3316 with the resistance now that we're going to have to break I'm raising it up from that 3435 area which it was at 34 at one time I'm going to raise that new resistance at 3475 so let's pull this up to a daily one minute you'll get a good look at that 3318 support that I called out and we're going to have a little pivot point area right in here between that 3387 and 3404 it probably can pull back if it pulls back any lower than that 33.18 considered a buy but play with the momentum of the trade you see when it catches momentum it just rides that momentum all the way up now I know the options were calling this to be going higher last Friday I heard a rumor about it and look what happened it ran all the way to 35.55 so somewhere around that area is where it's got to break resistance for right now we're going to raise that resistance level and I'm just going to go ahead and call it at 35.55 somewhere right around that area in there it's going to be our new resistance the new support is going to be right around that $30 area if that 30 doesn't hold it's going to be this 33.18 and that's AMD another great trade we like to follow it's something you need to keep on your watch list every day I'm very bullish on it and that's McDonald's McDonald's, we're going to look at the yearly chart. It's just a beautiful pattern on this trade. We've ran all the way from back in February the 19th, all the way up in this channel. And every time it's touched that channel, it's bounced up off of it. Last Tuesday, I called it, I said this sucker hit a double bottom on that channel. And look what happened. It ran up and it broke resistance. It had a new high Friday of 221.93 with a yearly low of 156.56. I'm still bullish on this trade, but I want to keep it in this channel. And that channel will keep rising on up, keep rising on up. But every time it pulls back, there's going to be a little pivot point in between. And let's pull up the 20 day and have another look at that channel. So right in here is where your pivot point area is going to be and your low support is going to be the bottom of this channel on a six month chart, or at least on a yearly. You can see where it starts and you can see kind of where it ends. We tried to break it one time before and it pulled back and then we had that real hard sell off during that bad week and it come down here right around 207. I called this little bottom right here right around 209.96. I said that's where it's probably going to stop at but she went ahead after hours. Pulled on back on an oversold territory and that could have been a great place to jump in. So she went ahead and bounced on up for three days and hit that trend line, pulled back and then went ahead and broke that Friday. So let's call support on this trade. I did call a resistance level on McDonald's right here, right around 216.75 to 216.99. Once we broke that on that 
day, she went ahead and ran on up, hit that trend line and pulled back. So I'm looking at maybe somewhere in here to be a pivot point or right around the 214.94 area, no lower than that. If it does go lower, it's going to be a strong buy. If it touches that trend line, it's going to be a real strong buy. The resistance we got to break now is going to be this 221.39. Looks like we did after hours, and it might have pulled back under that. Always keep in mind that I use my moving averages as, as supports and resistances. Let's pull this up to the daily one minute. See if I see anything that I missed. Looks like a little consolidation here. We did have an ascending triangle, and it did break out of that ascending triangle right around the 20, 20, 2090. So let's put that as a support level with your second support channel right in here, right around that 220.04 area, and then a low support right down here at 218 to 218.47. And that's going to be McDonald's. Now this runs in trends. If it pulls back, you can play the puts. If it starts to run up, you can play the calls. And that's how we play this one. Rodka. Rodka was my play of the day Friday. Uh, just unbelievable how this trade ran. RKDA. You can see we do have a double top sending triangle here. Where she kind of might want to break out of that resistance of $5. We did have a 505 high after hours. Now I got in this trade down here at 290 three and I got stopped out as it started to go down and once I seen it started going back up with strength I got back in it back in at 293 and that sucker man it, it went ahead and halted at 250 351 and I got out right when that halt came in so I made me a little bit of money on that I sold my shares and then it went ahead after halt and it ran all the way up and pulled back and found support right there right around the 366 area which was a little bit stronger on up, right around the 371. But I'm always watching them moving averages, and, and this was a great trade all day. We had faith in it most of the day. It did start to pull back into close, but at, when the bell rung, it decided to go ahead and start bouncing right before the bell, and then we had a high of that 550. Kind of did a little soup bowl here, and we, if we can get this back up to that 505 area again, She'll go ahead and break a new resistance. Now, this thing is real good when it picks up momentum. Keep an eye on Rodka. I want to call low support, a little around probably four bucks, two nine three ninety two. That's the area it's got to hold. It can pull back a little bit to three eighty one, but we're going to be watching it with my moving averages. I want to see if the nine wants to still respect that thirty four. If not, it starts to go on down. It'll be an exit for me, and then I'll look for a retracement to get back in it. And that is RKDA. And then the last one I want to talk about is going to be Switch, SWCH. SWCH. Had a real nice run last Friday. It ran all the way from a low of 1437 all the way to 1494. I've got a little channel of consolidated period right here. I think it can pull back to that 1482 with a solid support right around the 1473 and then it can pull back again if it decides to knife at 1458 with a low support off now the ports it also has supported the nine it bounced over the 34 it can pull back to that 200 and I could call that as a support also and right now that's pretty close to my 1473 area so we got a low support on this at 1441 with your second support right in here, right around the 1458, and that's going to be solid. With your first channel of support between the 1473 and the 1482, resistance to break is going to be this 1494. Let's pull up the yearly chart and have a look at it. We did have a high up here, right around this 1406. So I'm going to pull up a three year and see if I can see anything different. We got more room to fly on this trade. We've got a resistance level. If we break that last one, it's going to be 1527, 1576, with a 2018 trend line up here, right around the $16 area. And this is going to be SWCH. That's it for the watch list. Let me pull this back one more time to the 20 day. 
Yeah, there's a low support right in here between that 14 and that 1406. Your second channel of support level is going to be between 1441, 1458. And your first channel of support is going to be at 1473, 1471, 81. And that probably can pull back. This will be the one you want to watch come Monday, SWCH. Every Monday is a new day, and every Friday you want to sell and go away. I hardly ever hold a swing trade over the weekend unless I know it's real bullish. And that's it for I Love Stocks Sunday's edition of the watch list. And I want to remember you all, we do have a Twitter, Twitter page here. Hit that follow button. Also follow us on Stock Twits. There's my page and there's Miss Vegas page. You can follow us there. We post alerts in there also. And we also have a couple other things over here on the side you can go to. Plus, you know, we do have a, a, a pretty good little website here that has some trader tools on it. We have stock scans, stock portal, and also our top traders. So this is I Love Stocks. Today's date's August 11th, 2019. And we wish everybody a good week. I also want to close with a spy did kind of rebound a little bit on Friday or last week. We've had a pretty cup couple rough weeks in the market I called more or less a consolidated week with a little bounce last week and that's what we got and I think we can still continue with that it seems like we had our little five percent correction in the market and that's about all it needed everybody have a nice day this is August the 11th Sunday's edition of I love stocks and thank you very much